Welcome, folks. We are still on the another episode of Around Europe, and we're discussing what went down in the Premier League, even what went down around Europe. Of course, we know that uh, Atlant- Atlanta lost out the Coppa Italia to um, Juventus, and one club yesterday, you know, got um, the European, you know, season or the qualifier for the Champions. We're talking about Brest in the League One, and a good news for them because it will be first time in the history of the club but when we talk about history something happened in the Premier League yesterday Pep Guardiola did history of course breaking the record of Sir Alex Ferguson I have an Arsenal fan who will not be happy not because he broke the record but because he denied them another chance to win the title after 20 I have Michael Black in the studio so but before we talk about Arsenal because I know Arsenal fans have a lot to take off their chest let's talk about Pep Guardiola he has been you know a mentor to a theater, blah, blah, blah. But this guy is not relenting. Back to back, four times, breaking the record. As an Arsenal fan, how do you feel? Well, um, good afternoon to all of our viewers. And good afternoon to you, Puja. So um, what I'll say is I feel bad not winning the league, but him breaking the record, I, I don't feel any way. Of course, you congratulate people doing things, you know, the right way and doing things good. I don't feel I don't feel bad about it. I, I wish I can say the same for United fans because that's one of their bragging rights and it's having broken. But as an Arsenal fan, I'm just angry. Back to back and we haven't won the league or or, or courtesy of Guardiola. And it's... I think Ateta has just learned, like, if you're going to take or if you're going to take uh, take up yourself against Guardiola, make sure you don't lose any games. Try the invincible, because we've seen that with club. He went 97 points, didn't win the league. 93 points, didn't win the league. So I'm not surprised if 89 points isn't winning the league either. Just like I said earlier and I said last week, 100 points should be the target. Make hundred points the target. It is realistic, and I was saying I was I was saying it on radio yesterday. I said hundred points is realistic. Yeah, there might be ups and downs. The ups and downs. Make sure you win as much as thirty three games. Ups and downs. Leave that to five games. You get a hundred points. You draw one of those five games. You get a hundred points. Let's see how how um, supernatural Guardiola can actually be. Making sure you're not winning the league with hundred points because that's the only way you can go against Guardiola. The standard of the Premier League has gone beyond the level where you want to win the league with just eighty something points. And I, I think Ateta have learned that. So if, you, if, you, if you're talking about let's, so so leave, let's leave Ateta in the learning. Let's talk about Arsenal fans. So if twenty eight wins is not enough. It's nine point is not enough. What can you what happened this season? What what went wrong this season? Because you got four points against Man City and still four short of winning the title. Uh, against all the big teams, Arsenal got maximum, well, I'll say maximum four points against something, but they make sure they didn't lose any points to any of the big teams. Um, and I think the issue is certain teams they tend to look over got better on us on the likes of Fulham, West Ham, Aston Villa won anyway. And I think one of those games cost Arsenal the league this season. Manchester City, on the other hand, were not very good against the big six. But what they make sure they do is these smaller teams, no disrespect to them, they got all maximum points. And that guaranteed them the league this season. So we are talking about the other points, winning other points. Are you not are you not looking at it from this point of view? At uh, 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 Pep Guardiola is staying to next season, so we are looking for 100 points. He's looking for 105 points. He's looking for 101 points. That's what I'm talking about. Guardiola has taken it up a notch a bit. Now let's let's invite him to even a better game. He can do 100 points. If he can do a 105 point, then we start saluting him. Then he's the goat. But let us not do a 100 points and let's see how he reacts to that. Arsenal could have easily done the 100 points this season. Well, maybe close. Because the likes of the game against uh, against Fulham, they shouldn't have drawn. They should have won that game. Against Aston Villa, the first leg, they should have won. The controversial one against Newcastle, if you remember that, the first leg, they probably should have won the game. So that's about 9 to 12 points I'm already pointing out. Add that to Arsenal. Arsenal's 89 points is already 100 points. It's not as if 100 points is unrealistic. So if Arsenal can get 100 points, let's see what Guardiola does. So if you're talking about the complex, the team as a whole, where do you feel, you know, departmental-wise that Atleta can strengthen? Because if you look at what Pep Guardiola is saying, you know, he's already going for Dr. Costa. He's already looking to, you know, to bolster his team. And he's not letting go any... You know, yesterday, Green League didn't start. Doku started. So, they have a chunk of big players 
in that um, that they, you know they are, they are bench. So if Arsenal want to compete favorable, like I said, want to clean that hundred points, where do you feel that Arteta can strengthen from next? Year? I, I think um, uh, a DM needs to come in. One of the reasons Arsenal lost a couple of points this season was because of party. No disrespect to him, but it was because of party. If party were to be fit for the majority of the season, certain points are now lose because we see the freedom that comes with Declarice running as a CM box to box. It gives it gives the midfield a certain level of fluidity that we didn't get when Avatz was there. It was as if Declan Rice and, and Odegaard had to work. And Odegaard, most times, most of our cre- creative aspects of the game comes from Odegaard. So when he's dropping too deep, it's very difficult to even be creative when he's on the, uh, the, the, the upper, uh, upper part of the, uh, of the stadium, uh, of the pitch. So I think the DM is the first place to address. And I think Raya will be permanent. Uh, I think the transfer will be permanent for Raya. Then we need a striker. A DM, a striker, Raya, I think Raya will be permanent. I think that will be permanent. Aaron Ramsdale ship, I think that one already sealed. So I think striker, bringing a striker, we need a deadly striker. Sometimes when, when you can't control games, we just need this one-off. Avats gave us a game of how that can feel. Sometimes we don't control the games and we just get maybe an header and it's all. Game close. And it's very difficult to score us now. We are clean, keeping clean sheets as well. So I just feel, once we get a striker, and sometimes when, it, when people are trying to bully us, no problem, we sit back, then we just get one off, we score, then we shut off, we shut off the door. And the DM, even if, if party is staying, we need a DM because I'm telling you, he just came to flash us. He's going to get injured again. Maybe the second game of Messi, he'll probably get injured. Man is old. So DM and a striker. And, and I think we're ready to go. So if you're pointing out to DM and a striker, you know, put a name to it. Which DM do you feel that okay, fine, can come out for the fast now? Or which striker do you think Douglas that... Douglas should be perfect to Arsenal. But he's already on the edge of, you know... They were agreed... Master have agreed... The, the, master have agreed the personal terms with him. Yeah, the is same it? personal terms. Personal terms doesn't... Personal terms nowadays means nothing, as far as I'm concerned. Until Arsenal agreed personal terms with Mudrik. He's playing for Chelsea. Personal times means nothing until the deal is finalized. And we know certain people, you know, or, or maybe the club has, has announced. I don't think any player has gone for any club. So if you're uh, so looking at a striker, who will be the striker? Dusan Vlaovic is the first name that pops in my head. From Juventus? Yes. Dusan Vlaovic is for the profile of the kind of striker I want. I need a striker. For us now, we need a striker that win aerial duels, that can score headers, more like Jude, but even better. The only player I can think of is the Zanflavich. Oh, I know. So it will come, the price will be cheaper. If you try Osime, Osime, the price, the least you get for Osime now is 100 million. The Zanflavich is no longer popping, but it's still that, that, that player is still there. He's of the right age. I think he's about 25 or 26. This price tag will, will be around 50, 60 million. Right value, we get value for money, right age, and the right profile. Hmm. So, so, you know, so you believe with this, Fortification for Arsenal, you believe Arsenal can compete to the hand like this against for against oh well if 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 something is evident this season, you see is the mentality. That team has really grown from the past experience, from what they had two seasons ago. They've really grown you know, and they've really matured. So I feel just one or two players, the right kind of players, I tell you, they'll challenge anything. Now, it's very easy for Rodri. Yeah, I, I saw the interview with Rodri. He was talking about mentality. It's really here. It's really here. <laughs> Rodri, let me tell you something. Even though for financial doping for Man City, you probably be dragging fought with Girona in La Liga. Oh. So, I don't even want to talk about Rodri. But when you talk about mentality, all the big six, none, none of them could get maximum points against Arsenal. And towards the end of the season, when Arsenal are known to be shaky, that is exactly when they went against Chelsea, against Tottenham, against Manchester United. So you can tell, it's, it's evident, Arsenal has really grown and they are matured. Two or three additions, and Arsenal will be ready to compete against anything. And that's, um, you know, Michael Black, you know, putting his teeth to his team and saying they need a deadly striker. And of course, they need a DM that can actually solidify that defense because party is not reliable. We always get injured when it comes to Arsenal. Let's see what happens next season. Pep Guardiola have said he's staying till next season. So let's see if there will be clubs that will be challenging him for the title or he's going to set another record of winning it five times on the bounce. That's around Europe and of course I'll be in the studio with Michael Black. Till we come your way, follow us on our pages at Puglia Dissect. Make sure you turn on the notification button and you get our videos as it drops. Till we come your way again, Bye for now.